Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. Today I was going to show you how to work with skyboxes. However, since, since some of you asked water tutorials, we are going to cover water first and then we move to skybox. Now on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up water basic, one of the types of water available in Unity 5. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. And if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now for this video, we will use the same terrain we used it on the last couple of videos. You can see that on this area of the terrain, let me get a little bit closer. On this area of the terrain, the ground is a little bit deeper. So you may want to use areas like this one to create, for example, lakes. Uh, the best way to do this is to use the water basic prefab. Now, remember that uh, I'm using the demo project in Unity 5 and that means I already have all the assets of the water I need. If you are using a new project, in order to add the water assets to your project, you go to the menu, go to assets, import package and select environment. Now this will import the water assets to your project and you can find them on the project uh, project tab so we go here on the base folder assets the prefabs will be on standard assets now double click on the environment folder and you will see we have two water folders water and water basic uh, today we are going to use water basic so Let's select this one, open it, and again we have several folders. We want to open the prefabs folder, and we have two prefabs here. Now, before we move on, let me give you a quick explanation on prefabs. So, a prefab acts like a, a template of a game object. It allows you to create new object instance in the scene, and any edits made to the prefab asset are immediately reflected in all instances of the game objects produced from it. Uh, however, you can also override components and settings for each instance individually. So this can be quite helpful if you need, for example, to have several objects of the same type in, in the scene or in several scenes because this way you don't need to create every single object from scratch if you want you can make just some adjustments to it and will automatically update all instances now going back to the water we have two prefabs water basic daylight uh, actually water basic daytime and water basic nighttime so, as you may have guessed by the names, you use the water basic daytime on scenes during daytime and you use water basic nighttime on scenes during nighttime. Both of them work exactly the same way, the only, difference is, the only difference is that the nighttime prefab is set to be a little bit darker. So, right now we have, as you can see for the skybox, we have a, a daytime scene so I'm going to use water basic daytime prefab. So you select this, the prefab here, and you drag it to the scene. Okay, so as you can see, it places a small thing there, and you now have the water basic daytime. So now that we have this object in our scene, let's uh, adjust its position and scale, okay? So let's change the scale, for example, with the game object, with the water basic daytime selected, go to the inspector and on scale, let's set it, for example, 50-50, okay? And we are now going to change the height. 
okay for example this height so as you can see we don't want we don't want water in this area so you are going to move it a little bit so for example this should be z and now a little bit on x and okay we are done so now we have the the water right where we wanted it okay so uh, now that we have the basic water daytime in place let's have a, a quick look at what you can do with it so you select it and we go to the inspector and we can see we have several components we have the transform component that we just used to place it we have a basic uh, water basic plane a mesh renderer this is where for example you can change the, the material for the water we have a water basic script right here and we have a water basic daytime shader okay so let's make some some changes so on the mesh renderer uh, we can change some options like casting shadows or receive shadows and you can also change the, the type of reflection you want uh, for this case let's set the cast shadows to on and let's make the water receive shadows as well now for the reflection props let's change it from blend props to blend props and skybox okay so let's set the mesh render like this and if we move now to the shader you can see that we can change some parameters of the water for example you can change the wave scale you can also change the number right here and we can change the wave speed so uh, for these parameters we're just going to leave the default values now um, we want to see this in action, right? So, if you go to the gear, to the game, you're gonna see that the camera is not pointing to the water. Actually, it's pointing in, in others, another area of the of the terrain. So, to do that, we go to the scene. You move the camera to an area you want. For example, here. Okay, move it to here and now you go and select the main camera here we're going to have the camera preview now you go to game object align with you so now the camera is pointing exactly where you are, where you are looking at at the scene view so this is quite uh, helpful so you want to see this in action so let's press play Okay, so as you can see we now have the water in action actually let me just go here maximize this so you can have a better look yeah so you, as you can see we have the, the water in the terrain the grass the trees some wind as you can see on the on the grass as well uh, and you can see some kind of waves on the water so here you have it guys this is how you use uh, water basic prefab on unity 5 like i said this was the first tutorial on water and on the following videos we are going to show you how to use the other type of water objects that you can use in unity 5 until then have a nice day